Well, uh, earlier this year, Ikeja Electric uh, PLC told its customers to upgrade their prepaid meters with standard transfer specification software. Uh, the electricity distribution company had asked consumers in its uh, coverage area to upgrade their STS meter on or before um, Tuesday, October 31st, 2023. Had said any customer who fails to upgrade his or her prepaid meter uh, by linking it with a national identification number would be unable to vend energy units from November 1st. And we're already seeing um, some customers already complaining about that at this time. Um, joining us now is uh, Mecca Detail Joko, Executive Coordinator, um, NepaWahala.ng. Join us via Zoom. Great to have you in the show. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Ladi. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so how are you seeing this whole um, NIN uh, linking to uh, prepaid uh, meters at this time? I've had um, conversations with some people and they've not been able to, you know, vend energy for about uh, two days, you know, because of this um, issue at this time. And some are also having even longer days. They're not able to vend. Um, talk to me about this whole process. All right. Um, I listened to what Ms. Abdul said. Um, it appears to be a data gathering exercise uh, by IE. Um, so far, from reports I'm getting, it's just IE that's making this requisition for customers to um, upload their NIN as a prerequisite to um, uh, imputing the STS tokens on their meters. Um, customers are having all kinds of difficulties with this process, all kinds of difficulties. Um, I really do not understand the basis for IE's insistence that customers must uh, up, up, well, upload their NIN um, to, to, um, to their meters, okay? Um, especially when we talk about the issue of, they, they, are, not, they are not specific as to who should up, who's, whose NIN should be uploaded. You find that tenants in premises are even uploading their own NIN to landlords meters, which, def which defeats the purpose of a uh, data gathering and then uh, energy accountability, right? Um, as uh, Ms. Abdul stated, because if I'm a tenant in the house and I have used my NIN to um, to um, to uh, up to upgrade the meter, then what's the and I move and I leave debt, right? The debt remains with the meter. So how does that help a disco, right? In terms of accountability. Right, so um, so those are the issues. Um, right, I, I understand the, the policy, but it, the implementation for me is a problem. Yeah, because I've 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 had issues, you know, myself. I've I've tried to also, you know, upgrade uh, my meter, you know, gone through the whole process and all of that, but getting the code um, to actually uh, be able to vend is an issue, you know, um, right yes. now. You know, looking at the whole. Um, uh, process at this time. Do you think, you know, th there shouldn't be a deadline? You know, people should be able to vend, you know, even if they're trying to, you know, get on with this um, upgrading process, don't you think? Well, um, from my experience, I'm in Port Harcourt, right? From my experience with my own disco, once your meter has been migrated, what has been provisioned for the upgrade, you cannot vent. But their procedure is, is, is less stressful. You don't have to link your, your unique identifier. You don't have to put your NIN on anything. You just uh, go to their website, you impute your, impute your meter details, and you, you get the case the, the KCT tokens. And then you can, you can do your business, right? So I've done that. I've upgraded the one for my office, the one for my house is still outstanding because my meter has not yet been provisioned for, for upgrade. So, but the challenge that people are having now is with this NIN issue, right? Because if the if the NIMC platform is not working properly in order for verification to take place, then how do you how do you get how do you navigate past the the NIMC.gov website or their own database before getting to the to IE to IE database? So that's the challenge that people are having with with government infrastructure not not performing as robustly as the private sector uh, IT infrastructure. That's the difficulty. Now if if I think we'll just step step down this issue of the NIN and just do what other discos are doing, just provision the meters and leave the issue of gathering the data for now, right? Because even the data that they are gathering is not reliable. If a tenant is putting up his, his meter number in, uh, in his landlord's meter and he eventually moves, then how does that help them in their quest for gathering reliable data? Okay, so for me, the, the, the deadline should be extended and then they should drop this issue of uh, of linking meters with NIN, 
right? And then um, look for some more reliable means of gathering um, the, the data of the owners of these assets, as Mr. Abdul said. But what they're looking for now is not the users of the assets. What they're looking to get now is the owners of the assets. And once tenants are uploading their NI, are linking their NI with their meters, then that defeats the purpose of getting data of the owners of the assets, in my view. Right, I have reached out to uh, Ikeja Electric to come and you know break down you know this whole process uh, for us on the show. I'm still waiting um, to hear from them. Hopefully, we get more clarity you know going forward because uh, definitely this is uh, impacting businesses and households you know at this time in Lagos. Not yes, uh, not being able to vent because uh, yes, at the end is. of the day, uh, I did see on social media uh, yesterday some uh, frozen foods uh, seller you know complaining about you know spoilage of all her. Um, items worth about 300,000 naira or so, and uh, it's because she's not able to vend, you know, at this time. Yes, but, but it, it, it's a major issue. It's a major issue. I, I, I maintain several uh, uh, WhatsApp groups and other platforms. We are, the only complaints that we are getting day after day is this issue of uh, need, uh, linkage. Every single complaint is need linkage. So what we are doing is that people who have been able to navigate the process are advising others on how they can, how they can scale through it so that they can... Um, sort themselves out. But the deadline is fast approaching. It's next week, okay? Uh, I.e. should should um, should extend the deadline because even the deadline for the TID rollover is in November 2024. There is still time. So they shouldn't be putting people through this kind of stress and causing them this kind of economic losses. Somebody has lost goods of 300,000 Naira for no reason, right? When, when the problem is basically that of um, the, the, the modalities, right, the... the, the, the the, 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 the flow for the for the upgrade. If only they can drop this issue of the NIN linkage, then the rest works uh, practically seamlessly. All right, we'll definitely keep um, uh, watching and hopefully we'll get more uh, clarity you know, when it comes to this um, NI linkage because this cannot uh, prolong uh, for long because uh, consumers right now are stretched on every side and I'm sure <laughs> customers are quite sensitive now. We don't want them to snap you know, um, going forward with any hardship trying to vend. Thank you so much um, for coming on, uh, Barista Emeka Ojoko, Executive Coordinator, um, Nepa Wahala.ng. Thank you. Thank you for having me. My pleasure.